This is my 2005 Ford F-250 Power Stroke pickup truck, and I've owned this for about eight years. I bought it from Kentucky because I wanted something that was kind of clean underneath. It's a little beat up, uh, but that doesn't bother me. And I want to talk about the calipers that these trucks came with. And this, this truck has 151,000 miles on it right now, about 20,000 miles ago. I did all new calipers, all new rotors, all new pods, I'm um, using Centric Premium stuff uh, because I had a caliper failure before and I just kind of had the same thing happen again, um, which is why I want to talk about it. So let's go back here and let's talk about the piston material that's, that's in these calipers. So you can see this one's all broken up and disintegrated and here's a chunk of it. So this caliper piston is not steel or hardened steel or it's, it's some kind of like pressed together plastic. I guess they call it phenolic or phen phenolic. That's how you spell it right there. And this material, um, they, they use this because th they say that uh, it helps with, with the heat. The brake fluid is right behind it and it helps, um, helps keep the brake fluid cooler because the heat from the rotor isn't going to transfer through this plastic um, as hot as it would if this was steel. Um, but on the flip side, this, this plastic piston is not as strong as steel. Uh, and I've, I've never had another vehicle with these uh, ph phenolic pistons, um, and I've never had as many brake problems um, as I have with this truck that, ha that has these. And I, I don't drive this truck often, maybe once or twice a month. I don't drive it in the winter at all. It's stored. Uh, but all my other cars that have steel pistons are the exact same way. I probably drive those less than I drive this truck, honestly. And no, no issues with those whatsoever. But this is the second time that I've, I've had uh, these, these pistons break apart. Te technically the third time, and I'll explain um, a little better in a second. Uh, so what happens is these calipers are going to heat up, the plastic is going to heat up, and I think they expand and contract at different rates because they're different materials. And over time, these plastic pistons kind of get stuck. They'll, they'll, they'll go out, but they won't contract back in, um, and that causes the inner pad to wear down a lot faster than this outside pad. And it'll, it'll start kind of rubbing. You may notice you're getting uh, poor fuel economy. I noticed that I was. And if you jacked it up, you wouldn't be able to spin the wheel very well because that inner pad is uh, connecting to it. And if you go, it, it doesn't have to be too long, but if you drive a little while uh, and, and you don't address it, that pad is going to wear completely down. And it can wear down enough where I guess uh, I don't know if it just heats up more than normal and that's what causes this stuff to, to break apart or if it wears down so much that it causes the piston to extend fully out of uh, the pocket and maybe that's where it ends up breaking apart and crumbling. Um, but when that happens, it's, it's bad. You'll lose, you'll lose your brakes. You can see I have some vice grips on my line. I broke my line, rolled it over um, just so I could get the truck home. Uh, and this is my rotor. So you can see the inner part is a little skinnier than the outer part, and it's also chewed up because the pad material wore all the way through. Outside of the rotor is fine. It's nice, nice and flat, and that's because there's still some pad left on this side. So I said I've experienced this three times, so this is the third time. Uh, the second time was with the front, and I did all new pads, rotors, calipers, 20,000 miles ago, centric premium. And after about 5,000 miles, I had trouble with this front caliper. And I took it apart. And sure enough, the, <clears throat> the piston, the, the end of it was, was broken off. So I replaced this. This is a, a Napa premium or, or Napa caliper. They come painted black, which is really nice. And I haven't had any issues with, with this caliper. I replaced both sides at the same time because um, I figured if this one failed, that one would fail. But I didn't replace the rear. I just replaced all four of them. 
and I didn't want to replace all four of them after 5,000 miles. So these, these have been working fairly well. And if you check kind of the pad where, I don't know if you can see it, um, it's, it's symmetrical. And same with the other side. Uh, but the rear centric ones are, are having problems. And I don't, I don't know what Napa uses for a piston material. Uh, maybe they're just built better. Uh, but I, I couldn't find any that specifically said steel pistons online. I, I looked, I tried to see if you could buy ones with steel pistons or just buy the pistons themselves and swap it in, but I, but I couldn't find them. So over here, I'm starting to experience the same problem here. The inner pads completely worn. And it's not, it's not these guide pins. Typically on other cars, if these guide pins, uh, freeze up, you can have similar problems, but you can see that's, that moves freely on them very easily. Uh, it's these, these inner pistons, they've, they've came out and you can't squeeze those in. Even if you put a C-clamp on it, you'd, you'd really struggle to, to get those to go back in. So this wore down, see I still got some pad on the outside. This other rotor um, has about the same amount of meat on each side. The front's nice and smooth. The rear is, is all chewed up. So I'm going to do new calipers. I'm going to go with the, the Napa ones in the rear like I have on the front. New pads, new rotors on the rear. I'm um, probably going to run Centric again just because they're, they're cheaper than the, the Napa ones. And they, they actually come with a, a painted, a painted uh, body here in the ends. But I mean 20,000 miles on this rotor and you can't tell that it was painted. And I don't drive it in winter at all. It's stored in a clean environment. So there, there you have it. If you have an F250 or 350 and it has these uh, phenolic pistons or whatever they're, they're called uh, and you don't drive it very often, um, keep, keep an eye on your, your pads. You probably want to inspect them like once every six months just to make sure that they're, they're wearing evenly on each side. You can also tell by the fuel mileage that you're getting. You can press that reset button in your truck. So this would get about 20 miles to a gallon. Um, I've got an SCT tuner on it. And I, I was noticing I was getting around 14 miles to a gallon with, with these uh, rear wheels kind of um, stick, sticking a little. And I would planned on looking at it um, and it just it, it caught me off guard again where it, it blew the piston out and then I had to use vice grips to get home. So again, never have this problem with any vehicle that has steel pistons. It's only this plastic piston stuff. If I could get steel pistons, I would definitely switch to them. If anyone knows where you can get steel pistons, let me know. Uh, but, but keep an eye on this on your truck, especially if you don't drive it daily or drive it weekly, uh, because it seems, like, it seems like those plastic pistons wanna seize up uh, a lot easier than the steel ones would.